Hey there, everybody. This is the HLT Ninja. And base. Ready. I'm always ready! Okay. So, this is <clears throat> just a little filler we're going to do to tell you how to get rich quick in Mega Man and base for the GBA. Okay. The first thing you're going to need is the magic card, which you get from Magic Man, who we defeated in our last episode. Go check that out. Falls of Green. And, um... The next thing you're going to need to do is come to the intro stage, the one where you had to fight Green Devil. And these screws, yeah, just uh, drills, actually, not screws. My bad. I've got screws on the brain. <laughs> All right, so you come here and you just shoot them with the magic card. You have to shoot them with the magic card, otherwise you don't get the bolts as often. All right? Now, it's very simple. All right, they'll usually bring the screws back to you. And once you've done that, you know, you'll, you'll run out of energy. So just switch to your base buster like we're doing here. And voila, recover your energy. And repeat the process. Oh, look, we got a life. That happens sometimes. It's cool. Um, I don't really understand why, but sometimes... But uh, when you're using the base buster, you only seem to get health and weapon energy. So that's why you need the magic card. Because that's really the only foolproof way to get the bolts often. Alright? So, there's that. And, um, yeah, this is how we get rich quick and afford the stuff in Auto Shop that costs, like, over 300 bolts, which is ridiculous, because you don't get that many in a single level. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, base, um, do you have anything to add? Nope, I'm good. Give me more money. You, give me money, now! Wow, okay, um, I think we better get out of here before Base's greed gets out of control. So, I don't have the exit item, as you might know, so we're gonna fast forward. I almost forgot, gotta give credit where credit is due. I learned this uh, trick about the screws and the magic card from the Mega Man homepage. It's an awesome place, you should check it out. And we'll skip the rest. Alright, and we're at Auto Shop. They brought some screws for me, and I'll be able to create all kinds of stuff for you. Which item do you want? Uh, let's see. Oh, look, we've got a whole new line of items. This is the E-Saver. Ah, it helps us, uh, with our weapon energy uh, consumption. Our special weapons don't use up as much energy, basically. Uh, we don't want that one right now. Which item do you want? S-Armor. That's a good item. It reduces the amount of damage you take. However, uh, don't put too much faith in it. Want me to make it? Alright, here you are. Just remember that this item don't work unless you equip it. Which item do you want? Ah, the S-Buster. This is a nice item. This enhances the power of our base buster. It's pretty freaking cool. It's a mighty powerful item, as Otto said. Here you are. Just remember that this item don't work either unless you equip it. And what else do we have? Ah, let's get this. Because we're probably going to go and do that stuff again with the screws and the magic card. And we probably won't record it, but we will do it and buy some more items. And then I'll just tell you in my next episode what I bought. You know. um, e -Analyzer. This is for the comm system, right? Yeah, for the comm system. Which we don't have because, man, we never use it. Um, it just enhances the power of it or something like that. But again, like I said, we never use this item in the comp system. So, we're gonna leave. Thank you, Otto. Make sure you come back when you get lots of screws. Well, this has been the HLT Ninja and Base, and we're signing out.